Diverticular disease is characterized by the presence of outpouchings in the colonic wall. It occurs when the inner layers of the colon push through the weak areas in the outer muscular layers. It commonly affects the left colon, especially the sigmoid colon, because it has a narrow lumen and a high intraluminal pressure. Diverticular disease is considered a disease of the elderly. However, young individuals may also be affected. The mean age at presentation is 60 years. When the outpouchings of diverticular disease are inflamed or infected, it is termed diverticulitis. The exact cause of diverticular disease is not known. Risk factors include increased pressure in the colon from constipation, increased abdominal girth in obesity, and high-fat, low-fiber diet, which reduces the fecal transit time and stool weight. Patients with diverticular disease commonly present with cramping left lower abdominal pain, which may be associated with altered bowel habits. In right-sided diverticulitis, which is far less common, patients will present with right lower abdominal pain, which may be mistaken for acute appendicitis. Patients will also have nausea and vomiting, constipation, fever, bloating, and flatulence. A small percentage of patients may also have urinary symptoms, including urinary frequency, urgency, and pain during urination. On examination, patient will have abdominal tenderness and guarding with abdominal distension. Sometimes, a tender mass may be felt if an abscess is formed as a complication. With time, fecal matter starts to accumulate within the outpouchings in the colon, which can lead to dilatation and associated complications of diverticular disease. Some of these complications include erosion, focal necrosis, perforation, abscess formation, intestinal rupture, peritonitis, and fistula formation. With repeated attacks of diverticulitis, scar tissue formation occurs, which gives rise to strictures and bowel obstruction. In the acute setting, contrast-enhanced CT scan is the best method of diagnosis of diverticulitis. Sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy should be avoided in acute attacks since it increases the risk of bowel perforation. Treatment of diverticulitis depends on whether it is complicated or uncomplicated. Uncomplicated disease can be managed with a clear liquid diet for 7 to 10 days with oral broad-spectrum antibiotics. Adequate pain relief should also be offered. Complicated diverticulitis requires immediate hospitalization and intravenous fluids and antibiotics should be started. They should also receive adequate pain relief. Some patients will need urgent or elective surgery if it is complicated with perforation or other serious complications. Emergency colectomy may be needed if there are severe complications or when there is poor response to medical therapy.